Let's take the working file My Bedroom Working to look at some of the filtering options. Once your project starts to build, whether it builds large or small or medium, doesn't matter, you still might need to filter out some of the tasks. Now, all of the columns within your task table have little drop down arrows that we've already seen in action when we've been sorting. Now we can use them for filtering. So it's the same little drop down arrow. And instead of sorting by A to Z or Z to A, we can come down to the filter section. Now in the filtering, you can see we have every unique value in our list. So in this case, because we're on the task name column, we have all the tasks. If any had the same name, then they would only appear here once. And this will allow you to actually pick out sections. So I can say, let's not include the furniture or the launch night and OK. And I'm then filtering and only seeing the empty room and the prep room. Now you know that a filter is in action on this particular column because at the top of the column in the header, you have a little filter icon. And we can go back to there and clear all filters to bring everything back again. Now within our list of filter options, there is a little pop out arrow filters for some very commonly used filters. And we can see in here, we're currently viewing all tasks. So I could see active tasks, completed tasks, tasks that are critical. And we cover the critical path and critical tasks further down the line. A date range, and that has three dots to indicate that there will be a further dialog box for you to choose the dates of the range. Any incomplete tasks, any late tasks, any milestones, just summary tasks. Task range, and again, the three dots, you will get another dialog box, and this time to give it the ID of the task range. Tasks with estimated durations, and tasks that use a particular resource. Notice the three dots will give you a dialog box to choose that resource from. So if I were to choose completed tasks, I would only be then presented with the completed tasks. And in our bedroom working file, a number of the tasks have been completed. Back in the drop down, I can go to filters and say incomplete tasks, and I'll see all the other tasks. Now you know that there are tasks missing and a filter is applied because down in the status bar, it says filter applied. And in the task IDs, there are numbers missing. So in this case, all the ones that have been completed are missing from our list. And we can always return it by going clear all filters. Now the other columns also have little filter drop downs, but slightly different built in options. So in our drop down, we can see it still says filters and we can still see unique values in the list here. So I can actually choose the deselect all by clicking the tick and everything gets turned off. And I'd like to see all tasks that are two hours long. Okay. And in fact, there's only one. But I could add in the two and a half, the threes, three and a half and the fours. Okay. And I see a number of more tasks, all matching my filter selection. So back in there, let's clear the filter. So everything comes back. Now in the little pop out, so the pre-built section, you'll see because we're on the duration column, we now have an option for anything that is a day or less, or between a day and a week, or a week or longer, or has no duration, or uses one of the comparison options equals, does not equal, greater than, less than, or between. Each one of these will actually take you to the same dialog box, but have pre-populated this option. So I chose is greater than, and it pre-populates is greater than, but the others are listed, so I could change my mind. And the same happens with the start. Again, you could deselect options in the list, or we can go to the pop out filters and you'll see that this is all now to do with dates. So today, tomorrow, yesterday, next week, this week, last week, next month, this month, last month, next quarter, this quarter, last quarter, next year, this year, last year. Now, obviously using the working files, you may find that you need to change either the project start date or the project current date, which we cover in a future lesson for any of these filters to actually work, such as next week, this week, last week. So very much built in, allowing you the ability to filter out by segments of time. We also have year to date. So everything that is up to today. This is in the start column. Anything before the status date or after the status date. That was an arbitrary value set in the project information. No date at all. So it hasn't been set at all. And then your normal equals before, after and between that take you to the same little dialog box. And you'll find the finish has the same built in options because it's still a date column. So we still have that ability to filter by the finish date or the planned finish date, should we say.
So each of our columns has that filtering ability. If it's a pre-built column, it will have some pre-built filters to make life easier for you. Or you can go into the equals, not equals, greater than option dialog box, which is here. This is the custom filter box. And you'll find even on the task name, where it has a little pop out, that also has a custom and takes you to exactly the same place. And here you can choose any of the normal comparisons, is equal, is not equal, greater than, greater than, equal to, less than, less than, equal to, is within, is not within, contains, does not contain, or contains exactly. So if we were looking for tasks that contains the word paint, then OK. You'll see we get given all the tasks that contain the word paint, and there are only two. Paint the woodwork and paint the accent wall. Again, the filter icon is in display and the numbers are not in order, so I know that there's been some filtering in place. And remove filter, clear all for that column will bring everything back. So that's your ability to filter the tasks down should you only need to see a section of your project at a time. Regardless of what that criteria might be, it's pretty much all achievable even if you have to go to the custom filter option.